Marcus King has been charged with two felony charges of domestic violence. According to court documents, on August 4th in Grand Forks, he allegedly punched a known female victim in the head twice. The victim also stated that when she screamed for help, King stated he would stab her. And 32-year-old Tyson Eichelberger of Grand Forks has been charged with felony burglary. According to court documents, on August 13th at 9.50 a.m., Police found Eichelberger in a fenced-in backyard of a home. Police also found an Amazon box containing items from inside the home. And brothers, 27-year-old John Monzo and 20-year-old Mark Monzo, both of Grand Forks, have each been charged with felonies of reckless endangerment and fleeing a peace officer. According to court documents, on August 13th, an officer spotted them racing their vehicles on South 42nd Street uh, by 17th Avenue. The officer turned on his lights to pull them over, and they took off with kids uh, riding their bikes in the area. One of the vehicles, a Dodge Challenger, uh, became disabled, and the driver, Mark Monzo, identified the driver of the other vehicle, a uh, Honda Civic, as his brother, John Monzo. And 28-year-old Michelle Miller of Grand Forks has been charged with felonies of simple assault and preventing arrest, along with a misdemeanor charge of criminal mischief. According to court documents, on August 15th at 9.18 p.m., officers were dispatched to the 1400 block of 15th Avenue South for a report of an unwanted person, Miller. Miller uh, allegedly tried to grab an officer's handcuffs and struck him in the head. Officers had to wrestle her to the ground to get her in handcuffs. Then she allegedly kicked at an officer while getting her out of the car at the jail. And 28-year-old Kezionate Harrison of Fargo has been charged with felony aggravated assault and misdemeanor refusal to halt. According to court documents, on August 15th, officers found a male victim lying in the middle of the street in front of the Level 10 bar in downtown Grand Forks. The victim regained consciousness and was treated at Altru. Several patrons pointed out Harrison, and officers had to pursue him on foot before he was arrested. Harrison allegedly had struck the victim in the head several times, rendering him unconscious. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.